first attempt at the foundry, even though we have some cracks in the foundry part, we're going to try and do a burn in there anyway and see if we can melt a little bit of aluminum, just because we're getting anxious, instead of waiting like we should be doing and letting it dry properly. This is our uh, crucible <coughs> hook. Still unsure how we're going to pour it, but we'll figure that out as we're burning. Alright, get it out of there. Closer look. Although it's daylight, so you're not seeing much because it's such a blue flame. I told you we broke the crucible a little bit. So. <coughs> we got to work on that. But we're going to try and burn anyway because it was actually burned for about 30 minutes yesterday. We did a great job burning, even without this missing part here. Uh, we're going to cover up the top of it with this just to keep it from hitting too much of this metal up here. Hard to see our flame like this, so I'm going to cover it up a little bit so I can see what's going on a little bit. You can't see this, but I'll be right back here and get the flame just set the way I want it. Alright, we threw our crucible in there. While it was warming up, just to keep it going. <coughs> we'll see how it does. There's a lot of paint on that stuff. That's just old hard drive. I'm going to turn it high in just a minute here. I can't tell if the video is even seeing it. <coughs> Man, you can tell the paint coming off of that stuff, so we're going to do this. <coughs> Alright, we're not getting any flames at the top. I don't know what we will with this thing, so it's not powerful enough. So we'll come back when we think the metal's melting. Uh, it's about, you may know what time it is? Uh, no. It's about 5 o'clock now. We'll see you in about 20 minutes and see where we're at. Oh. Well, is this 
valve. I have to do the fan on to let it continue to blow. Hold there. Didn't get hot last night. Remember that thing was blowing red last night? Well, no, this was night. Okay, now stand back. I don't know how hot this is going to be. Should have my glove on. We kind of stuck to the bottom a little bit. Stay back. If this stuff runs, you'll burn your shoes right off. Yeah, I know. I'm going to knock this this way, so watch out. This pen has to be knocked out. How many times have we practiced that, Mitchell? Three. So much for practice, right? That was hard to my ass, but we'll see. Alright, now i got to get my sledge out of there. Never done this before, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. Lots of sledge. Awesome. Gotta get a smaller, longer spoon. Stay back. I don't know how this stuff splashes. Yeah. I don't know how much aluminum you're gonna have left once you get rid of all that. Yeah, there's not near as much as I thought there'd be because I didn't know there was gonna be this much junk in the bottom of here. Right, I'm not sure we're gonna have enough aluminum left. You're right. Man, that just turn that sodium silicate into nothing. Look at that. Yeah. That was our sodium silicate bucket. Yeah, there's a lot of miss. Uh, your spoon's full on the bottom. Yeah. There's a lot more than I thought there'd be. I didn't realize how much you end up losing to the uh, sledge or whatever they call this stuff. Sludge? Sledge? Slag. A lot. Slag. I won't take it on you. Yeah, no. Man, it's sticking to it really bad. So I think we're good at that. We're going to attempt to pour here. Part of a part. I don't know if I'm ready for this. We'll try. Let me get some actual gear on this time before I try and pour. I'll step back. That way, if I do splash, I splash myself with some gear on. All right. That didn't work at all. That's gonna get in the way if it keeps falling off like that. Okay. Popping me in the face. That's hot. Okay. So our strategy for pouring this didn't all work out. We're gonna try something a little different. This is our poor one, right? Yeah. Damn bait, this is going to blow off fire when it hits it. Yeah. And it's not even coming out. I think we waited a little too long. No, we waited too long. We're going to have to go back in and burn it up again. Turn it off? It, it, uh, yeah, turn it, well, uh, apparently you can't wait that long. It's solidifying. So we got to put it back in and burn for a little longer, obviously. Hopefully that doesn't hurt it any. I don't know if that'll give me more slag or... I don't know. I don't think we have enough aluminum anyway, so it might be a good idea to cut some more aluminum. That's how that slag came off. We had very little aluminum left. We're going back in and we'll refire it back up. Because that was, uh... Definitely hardening it up already. Okay. We need to light it. Can turn it off? Oh, uh, yeah. On top of it. Here, I'm on. So I don't think it's actually going to work. I don't think it went down in the hole. I don't think it even worked. I think all the aluminum stayed right on top. It still melted, and I don't think it even went in the hole. I don't know. We may have two big old circles on top of here now. I don't huh? think it went down the piece of foam. I'm confused on maybe what happened. Sand, maybe the sand filled it too quick. Or you had Maybe it shouldn't have came in. I don't know. Maybe if it didn't look like it went down. So. The crucible held up okay. Well, not crucible, whatever you call it. It did it's not good. hold up as our lid and our foundry. Okay. Yeah. Let's show them the lid and see what happened here. It buckled out so bad that it started actually losing the perlite. Yeah, I got it. It started coming right out. So. Oh no, we're not done with that's kind of a done deal for now. <coughs> but we're gonna let this cool and see if we got anything. I don't think we got anything. Probably not. <coughs> Everything's off? Gas is off? Yep. Main gas is off, I don't know about the other. Let's turn it 
turn the video off yet? Turn it off. Ah. Well, I have to turn it off for now. We'll see. Wait till you're saving your recording. I'm recording. Recording now? Yeah. Alright. Alright, we dumped it. We were very nervous that we didn't get anything out of it. But if you look, we got it. I thought for sure. Very hot still. I thought for sure that it didn't go down in there. And that we didn't have enough aluminum, but apparently we had more than enough. <laughs> I poured in both sides. Sorry we missed the pour, but it was our first one ever, so we were kind of nervous and worried about making mistakes. I poured in both sides. Because I was really worried that we didn't get down in the thing, so. You can probably pull it out. Yeah. No, it's too hot. Boiling hot, you can see, we've got an M. It's for my son. We won't go into his name, but it's his first initial. So, <laughs> we'll have to clean it up. It's not the perfect M, but we were just making some practice stuff. Man, we had more than enough aluminum, didn't we? I think we did great. Oh, didn't take the labels off the cans. They started flaming up on me. Sand has this, uh, come on this hand, oh, don't touch it with your hand, bud. Has this black stuff on it. I'm guessing that we can still reuse it with that black stuff on it. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. This thing is rock hard. Problem is, now we got to get it out of here. And as you can see, <laughs> I over poured by a lot. So I'm, I might have to bust these cans up to get this out of here. Oh, always cut it. Yeah. I don't know we'll be able to use these cans again anyway. So, we'll get those cans out. <coughs> Put that on the saw and cut that right off right there. And we'll have ourselves an M once it cools off. First pour is an awesome pour. Just got to get our, crew, our foundry over here fixed. And uh, the lid totally blew out as I pulled it off at the end. So, that high temperature cement, I don't know, not the thing for this anyway. We'll go with something else once we get this patched up. Burner's working great. Really excited about that. Need to get a better uh, crucible. We'll work on that. All right. That's just all for now. Check you guys later. There you I over poured. That's all over pour. So I had thought that the uh, first one. I can't remember which one I did first. I, oh, the high one. I did the high one first. So I thought that it when I saw the aluminum up top here that it hadn't been going down in the whole time. So I went ahead and poured in the other one because I was afraid it had... I didn't see it come up this one. I thought it would come up the second one. I never saw it come up. So I thought, oh no, it didn't fill. So I better fill this one in, ca in case this one clogged up. Started filling this one, <coughs> and wouldn't you know it, uh, it didn't need to be. So nonetheless, we got some nice big can ignits here that we're going to cut off. And uh, we'll polish this up and file it out a little bit, make it nice and neat. And then uh, I don't know what my son's going to do with it. I guess he's going to set it on his dresser. Who knows? But that's it. That's our first, uh, first, and we just, uh, took a can, basically put it on there, packed in some sand in the bottom, put our styrofoam piece in there, had two extenders coming off in styrofoam, and poured from there. So that's pretty much it. That was pretty simple. We made this with just blue tape on foam and cut it with the wire cutter. I didn't actually take a picture of us cutting that. It wasn't anything fancy, but it's just our first pour. We're going to see what we can do. We'll make neater stuff as we go, hopefully. Got to work on the crucible and the uh, foundry a little more. But we're almost there. Take it easy.